Hi, I'm Edward Current. Now, I have to apologize for my disheveled appearance today. I know it's very unchristian of me, but I've been down in the dumps lately. Now, I don't know when you'll be watching this, but for me, it's the last week of the 2008 election, and it's looking pretty grim for us real Americans. By the time you see this, our once great country may have been transformed into some Islamic, communistic, atheocracy where adult scout leaders are marrying their boy scouts, and school children are forced to learn both math and science, where words like socialist and elite are defined not by war heroes and hockey moms and plumbers, but by special interests like big dictionary. It's so depressing. I mean, you know it's bad when voters aren't even being scared and threatened back onto the path of righteousness like they usually are. But you know, I've decided to do something about it. I am organizing a mass prayer for this Sunday at 8 p.m. Basically, I want everyone watching to pray for Armageddon, for the end of all non-biblical Christian life on earth. The time has come to flush this hope-ridden cultural mess down the cosmic toilet once and for all. I mean, we pray together to keep a sick person alive, right? And that works, sometimes. So why not pray for everyone to die? All we have to do is get lots and lots of those good prayer waves swirling around the planet. Now, <laughs> my, my pastor doesn't like it when I call them waves, but come on, that's what they are. When we pray, we set up these vibrations of devotion, which God then listens to with his invisible ears. And I figure that with enough people praying at once, our prayers will reach some kind of critical density to the point that God just won't be able to ignore them, you know, like he usually does. And Jesus will come upon us and those Godless liberal politicians will be cast into the lake of fire, screaming in agony. Come on, admit it, it's the stuff we've all been dreaming about. So, let us help our Lord Father cleanse the world of this dangerous spread of non-Christianity by way of this final solution, through the magical power of prayer. With these rays of pure worship being beamed up to the sky by the thousands, I promise, I guarantee that every non-Christian on earth today will, in fact, die eventually. True Christians, let's all work together and make it happen this Sunday at 8 p.m. American time. Total global destruction. Let's face it, Christian Republicans, it's pretty much the only thing we have left. Thank you, and may God have mercy on America. Good night.